Thank you so much for checking out this free video. If you don't mind, please click like and subscribe. All right, well, the quick results. Hangman and Jay White had an excellent opener. Jay White beat him with the Blade Runner, which was a rematch, actually, of the match where Jay White broke his foot. Apparently on TV they said it was like some mystery injury. Were they trolling me? I wasn't watching on TV. Why is everything always a mystery here? He broke his foot, he recovered, and he's back. But they can't even say that. It's like it has to be a mystery injury of some point, or it's of some type that he's coming back from. Mariah May and Willow Nightingale, AW Women's title. It's a good match. Mariah hit a Frankensteiner, running knee, short pile driver, got the pin. And uh, this was actually like the beginning of all night long. So they had this big uh, mountain, this Mount Rainier that they had on the big screen. That was like the background. And it always came up when the segment ended. And so all night people are like waiting for something to happen. And then that stupid mountain would show up, and you'd realize, nope, that was a segment. Everybody was waiting for Tony Storm's return. Just waiting, waiting. There's the mountain. Mm, well, moving on. Jack Perry and Shibata for the TNT title. This match was good. Hated the finish. Shibata puts him... Shibata's gimmick is he's the wrestler. That's like his gimmick. That's, that's all he is. He's the wrestler. He wrestles. He wears black trunks, black boots, and he's a wrestler. But he doesn't get that if you put a sleeper on with your back on the mat, you can be pinned. So he gets pinned like an idiot, as he has this guy in a sleeper. And then Jack attacks him afterwards. Fans hated that finish, by the way. Jack attacks him with the belt. Daniel Garcia makes a save. He's just re-signed. He's all good to go. And then MJF returns. Got a giant pop, by the way. And he just beats the hell out of Garcia again. Stomps his poor geek down. Leaves him for dead. He's got his ring back. He found it in a pawn shop. And then who should make the save for poor Daniel Garcia but the returning Adam Cole. And he is now a babyface, obviously, because Max is now a heel. And after 10 full months... We can finally continue Adam Cole versus MJF. We had Will Ospreay, Takeshita, Ricochet for the international title. This was the best match on the show by miles and miles. There was uh, shenanigans there at the end. Don Callis tried to interfere with a screwdriver. Ospreay stopped him. Hooded guy hit the ring and attacked Will. It's Kyle Fletcher who's turned heel. Takesha hits a running knee, wins the title. Thank God. Takeshita now gets the international belt and can hopefully get a push. And then Kyle gives Osprey the Tiger Driver 97. So now Osprey has something to do as opposed to going straight after Takeshita. He's got to take care of Kyle first. So this was this was very good. Swerve makes his return. MVP comes out, tries to recruit him. Of course, Swerve says, hell no, I'm sticking with Nana. And then Shelton and and Swerve get into a brawl. Geeks run down to make the save. And everyone's looking around. Where is he? Because we knew that he was in the building. Well, I don't know if everyone knew, but Lashley was in the building. So everyone's waiting. Where's Lashley? Where's Lashley? There's the mountain. It's all over. Hey, this is no what Lashley. wrestling has done. You know, everybody always looking to the back to see what's going to happen Well, next. to be fair, Lashley, blame the fans. Lashley was supposed to come out on this show. But... The cooler heads prevailed, and they realized, maybe we shouldn't kill Swerve and Brian Danielson on the same night. That would be silly. Plus, even though he's winning, we're also killing Darby. So so now that he's re-signed, I guess they're going to kill Leo Rush first, because it looks like Shelton Benjamin and Leo Rush are going to have a match uh, against each other here coming up on Wednesday. Are they? They announced that? They finally uh, announced another match? I don't, they did not announce it. It was a backstage interview where Leo Rush said, hey, I'm all elite. I've signed a new contract. Why have they shot these angles and announced nothing? Be Brian? Dom like is going else. to the show Wednesday and has no idea what's on the show. Everybody should be on Instagram and X and Facebook and everywhere else that they put all of these things, both companies. And we had the Hologram Beast Mortos match, best of three falls. Great! This Yeah, this Loved was surprising superfluous to me to have on the show i would probably save not superfluous this for, save this for tv but no it, it's just it's mortos is so fun 
And I like Hologram. Again, I don't know what his ceiling is going to be there. I do enjoy what they're doing. I do enjoy the fact that he's got a win streak here. And again, he again, Mortos is, let's see how they use him. And if they can get him a good mouthpiece, if Jake Roberts is going to be that guy or not. But people enjoy getting behind a goofy character. And it's good to have one of those on the show. Hey, you know, uh, this person here says... Um... AW should have a TV show that summarizes all the social media stuff we're missing. No. But I noticed something when I watched SmackDown this week. So are you aware that on social media, there is a music video for Hell in a Cell? Are you aware of that? Is there? You didn't watch SmackDown then, did you? Because they have made a music video for Hell in a Cell... And they plugged the heck out of it on SmackDown. Go to social media and watch this video. Go to social media and watch this video. Go to social media and watch this video. <laughs> Do you know where I find out about AEW cool stuff on social media? What is that? The chat. No. <laughs> like, people tell me because AEW puts stuff on social media but never tells anybody. But you have to actually be on social media. Yes, it's been a so thing listen, with them. If you're not going to put this great stuff on Dynamite and Collision which is what they should do. Like, if there's something great, at least tell us on the show. At least say, hey, we got a great interview. Or we got a great video or whatever. They don't even do that. It's like you have to just be on social media to find this stuff. So anyway. Well, it's like the Dustin Rhodes promo, the Mark Briscoe promo. There have been a few where, yeah, drive this stuff home. You don't have to spend a whole segment on it on Dynamite or Collision or whatever. But if Swerve is at X concert or somebody is here or there, put that stuff together, make a compilation of it, put it up and then direct people to it. Cause otherwise most people won't care. Cause again, you only have so much time in the day to look on social media. At least you should. And we had Darby Ellen Brody King. Very good match. Darby won. Give him something since originally it was going to be Darby and Brian Danielson on this show, but plans change. We had the Young Bucks and Private Party. The match starts with the Young Bucks saying, you guys have done nothing for five years, and you're a mid-card act. And they get attacked by Private Party. They have a very good match, of course. And then the Bucks beat them clean. And they are, in fact, a mid-card act who has done nothing for five years. Your next top flight. And the main event, uh, not main event, Mark Briscoe and Chris Jericho, ROH title. Love this match. It was just a great story match. Mark Briscoe is the best. Yes. He's the best baby face. He made the best comeback. And it was a simple story. This disgusting individual, Chris Jericho, he is. used Mark's dead brother's move on Mark. And when Mark kicked out, that was the end of the road for Jericho. And he just ran wild on this guy. And then he hit him with the J-Driller, pinned him. It was really good. And then Danielson and Moxley, you know the story. Moxley killed him. Brian got some comebacks. But man, watching Brian Danielson is watch it's like watching Naito. It's like he's so beat up. I mean, he tries all of his stuff and he kind of does it, but you can tell it all hurts. He barely makes some of this stuff. And thank God now he can go home and rest and heal and get surgery if he needs it, the whole nine yards. But he was choked out in the middle of the ring, dead. Fans are furious. The BCC comes out. They murder this guy. Darby tries to make the save. He gets killed. They force him to watch, which is key here. They forced Darby Allen to watch. Orange tries to come out. Jeff Jarrett. Finally, the baby face and referees hit the ring, and the BCC bails. They stretch her out. Old Brian Danielson. And then Justin Robert says, Please drive safe, everyone. And everyone goes, bah! He's screaming at poor Justin Roberts. This poor guy. Not his fault. He wanted you guys to drive safe. And you yelled at him and cursed him out. Disgusting. That was almost as disgusting as... You know how disgusting Don Callis is? It's just cretinous. I don't even know if you're allowed to say that word in 2024, a cretin. I think it might be like a medical condition. But God, horrible person. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.